Good noon. Good noon, everybody. Good noon, good noon indeed. This is what happens when it's super busy in the parks and the Grand Floridian and Polynesian security don't let you park at the resorts. <laughs> It is too hot. Yeah. It's too hot. So, so we just were like, let's just film here. Just some people. And it smells way better. Some... So we're gonna put it in. Should have seen the dance moves this little girl just did. Oh, I'm gonna go. Me too. Um, yeah, so gonna get some water. Oh, we didn't even talk about what we're gonna do. For fun facts for you, uh, you cannot get in this building if you're not staying, I think, club ones. It's called like the King Something Something the Club. King Club. King Something Something Club. Oh really? Yeah, I think it's concierge okay. for I think it's club lounge for Polly because you need your your. I haven't tried like going to the second or third floor just to like sit in there, but yeah, that's all the lounge I think. We're gonna film our little excerpt of our little interview. Did we say we yeah. didn't say? No. So we were asked by the Memory Makers UK um, to be like one of their feature content creators. Mm -hmm. um, we talked about C. Sean Blog and Caroline before, but and Dave. And Dave. <laughs> And um, they're a part of the group. Um, we'll put all of their information below, but we just have like a quick Q&A, so we thought that this would be a good backdrop. Yeah, nothing like beautiful skies, beach, and a you know little humble castle back there as a backdrop. And maybe even a duck or a boat. Yeah, maybe. Hello, we are the Brookhart Project. I'm Sarah. I'm Peter. And we are a married couple who moved to Central Florida from Chicago about... So thanks again, Memory Makers UK, for asking us. It is Seashawn Vlog, Gareth and Laura, and 86.5. Those are the three channels that make yeah. up the Memory Makers. I can't wait to see it. Yes. What is on your wrist, Peter? This. Oh, let's take this magic geekdom. <laughs> um, I, I didn't think that they, the Trader Sam's was still selling them. I thought they would just be sold out, so I didn't, it didn't cross my mind to, to stop by there today. I happened to be walking by to take the boat to Magic Kingdom to just soak up some Main Street USA, and they started passing out wristbands for the haunted, the Hat haunted Box mansion, Ghost. Hatbox Ghost Tiki Mug. I can't talk. Hatbox Ghost Tiki Mug. So we're picking some up for, not even for us, so <laughs> this is for the Air Hearts, and Sarah's is for our friend Dennis. Yes. Just as the parade is starting. We haven't seen this in months. Movies. There's black and white Mickey and Minnie watching movies back there. Oh, I love these. We got goofiest Trader Sam. We got the most beautiful Cinderella in the world. We got Winnie the Pooh ready for winter. We got Winnie the Pooh ready. Look at these shirts. It's like the old 90s VHS. <laughs> Whenever we find a classic, overzealous Hawaiian Mickey shirt, we have to send it to Ben. <laughs> So we're stalking our friends Sean and Eddie 
They're, I think they're about to get off small with right? Yep. We're gonna say hi to them and like very quickly leave them to go get in line for this tiki mug. I'm very hungry. I'm hungry, mother. I'm hungry. We may go do a hoagie fest at Wawa before we go over to Hollywood Studios to meet Katie and Dustin. What do you We're think? all over the place today. We are. <laughs> I, I think that's making me extra hungry. <laughs> all right, we saw our friends Sean and Eddie. Boat one way, monorail back. We gotta go get ourselves some tiki mugs. And we forgot to tell everybody, our friend Chelsea, our dear friend Chelsea, oh. her secret life, and I hope she's not mad at me for telling her her business, but she had a secret goal of hers, and that was to get noticed in the theme parks without us there as the Brookhart's friends. She texted us yesterday saying, guys, my life dream has occurred. Somebody stopped me and said, I, Chelsea, we watch the Brookhart's. We love them and we love you. And that was Sean and Eddie. So like we didn't, Chelsea didn't remember their names. I don't know if she got them. But we just saw Sean and Eddie. They're like, oh my God, we were here yesterday and we saw Chelsea. Chelsea tell you? That's awesome. Top copy. Make sure to take the bottom copy to the host. We got him. We got him. Awesome. awesome. Thank you. So thank you so much. And they come with a drink, so. Come with drink. So booyah. <laughs> Vacation drink. Um, I literally didn't even make it out of this great ceremonial house and I finished my drink already. So I've got a full one. It's not alcoholic, by the way. Yes, <laughs> by the way. They do the same drink, one's called Grim, Grim Grotto. Grim Green Grotto? Yeah. And the other one, I don't know what the other one's Foolish called. Foolish Mortals. Foolish Mortals. No, opposite. We got the Foolish Mortals. Yeah. Mortals, which is not alcoholic. And they had Grim Green Grotto, which is alcoholic, with some rums. And a mouthful. And a mouthful. But we got them for our friends. We did it. Here it is. The infamous hat box ghost. We are notifying the Earhearts as we speak. And once I put my camera away, I'll text my friend Dennis. These are going both to good tiki homes. Dennis has an entire bookshelf of tiki stuff, and the Earhearts have an entire basement of tiki stuff. The Earhearts are who we gave the uh, four dish, like chips and salsa tiki oh, yeah. room set of the four, four birds from the Enchanted Tiki Room. Okay, we're at studios now. We have Katie and Dustin with us, but there's some serious characters over here, so I'm on a mission to see who it is. Just no white. She's worth it, but not today. Last minute fast pass. So we're doing boys versus girls. Our scores combined versus yeah, theirs. Is Dustin good? I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> you got a friend in me. Katie got best in car. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, we gotta wait and see what these boys did. This is our combined score. Peter, what did you get? 186. Ooh, you got 86, you got 83. Girls rule. Doing it for the grand. I want to go in here so bad. Look at Club 33, let me in. Let me. <gasps> they let me in? Look at this. One day, one day, my friends. It's gonna happen. We're gonna be members one day. We are doing something we've never done before. We're in the ABC commissary because Dustin's getting hangry. I don't even know if we're gonna. So this is the happening place? Oh, it's like old studios. Sarah's dream. This is the living last piece of Sarah's studios. Speechless. And, like, the props and stuff. You know what? Is there more around the There is. What are you gonna get? I don't know. You can really get just like a chicken sandwich. I think I might get my weight. Oh, they have waffle fries here? No, it's a, it's it's a joke. Back to an old YouTube video, like one of the first YouTube videos. Oh, things. I think I know what you're talking about. The unforgivable. Yeah. Go up there and just give me a chicken sandwich with some waffle fries. But look at this mural. Sky windows, this place is, there's a lot of seating and I feel like it's never too, too, too busy. Okay, so this new Disney's Tales collection came out. Look at this Stormtrooper, Darth Vader. Do they have a smaller one? I don't know if that would fit her. Look at it. Aww. 
I don't Look at these! This is what we're gonna get for Eve. We're gonna be meaning to get her a harness rather than a collar situation. Um, this isn't happening. Oh yeah, what better way to finish the weekend than some fantastic. Justin secretly does not, he puts on his fake front about not liking the park. He loves it. He loves it. He just hates how excited I get. He literally tells me, he's like, I don't understand how you could work in like an office and people take you seriously. I'm like, because I'm totally different at, at work. I feel like I'd rather hang out with that Peter. Do you want to be like that? Yeah, I want to hang out with that Peter. Well, can you tell me why there's two whole, three? Two, three, three whole sections of oh, dinner exactly. package. One, two, three. three. Yeah. Three whole sections. That's half of, that's almost half of the whole bowl. Dustin just found out it's, it's in 30 minutes. <laughs> Is our oldie but a goodie? Sarah just made my week, made of year, week. Like, my okay, month, my year. So we're sitting outside of Katie and Dustin's because we couldn't get enough of them, of them and them living here for the week. But they're picking up some pizza. We're gonna have. And it's going to be our last hurrah. I gotta wake up and run five miles in like eight hours. Yeah, it's gonna be our last so hurrah. It's literally my, my final, my last supper. Yeah. But pull out your phone <laughs> and read. Did you just tweet at him, or was that gonna response? I just tweeted him. So I just tweeted at somebody amazing. I said, whenever my husband talks about going to an event Gary Vee is speaking, I remind him he puts all his content on the internet for free. Nobody does that. I'm pretty, I'm sure we'll go one day, but that's pretty incredible for the now. Because it's true. He puts all his stuff on the internet. But it gets better. He tweeted us back. He said, yes. But we can hug in real life. <laughs> that's awesome. That is awesome. It. Someone who responded, still waiting on my hug and selfie. I don't know who that is. Um, paper plate in it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. This pizza looks delicious. Where did that piece go? I was really hungry on the way home. Bum, <laughs> <laughs> hat box goes, tiki mug, memento mori, 1702. This one is getting sent off to California to my friend tomorrow, and the other one is going to the Earhart's when they arrive here tomorrow. So actually, both of these will be out of my possessions. I'm going to package this one up safe and good, make sure it gets to my friend safe and sound. That being said, I'm going to sign off now. Sarah's getting ready for bed. Eve was super excited to see us. We had a lot of fun. A really busy weekend. I need like one more day. I was just like resting. We got sun today. But it's midnight, so I'm going to bed at more reasonable time um, I have to run five miles tomorrow I'm gonna try to wake up early and do it in the morning but if not I have to do it at night it's 
it's that time. Crunch time. It's gonna be like back in the January to April vlogs when I talk about my running all the time. We're back in it. There's no ifs, ands, or buts now for the next 13 weeks. 13 weeks till till Dopey Challenge. So I gotta get ready. And thank you everybody for the support and for watching us. You guys are the best. We love each and every one of you. Thank you. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.